Hi guys. Today we are going to talk about artificial intelligence, AI. What is intelligence? How to get started with AI? Okay, let's go. Artificial intelligence, AI, the ability of a digital computer or computer controlled robot to perform tasks commonly associated with intelligent objects. The term artificial intelligence had previously been used to describe machines that mimic and display human cognitive skills that are associated with the human mind such as learning and problem solving. This definition has since been rejected by major AI researchers who now describe AI in terms of rationality and acting rationally, which does not limit how intelligence can be articulated. What is intelligence? All but the simplest human behavior is ascribed to intelligence, while even the most complicated insect behavior is never taken as an indication of intelligence. What is the difference? Consider the behavior of the digger wasp, Sphex ichneumonius. When the female wasp returns to her burrow with food, she first deposits it on the threshold, checks for intruders inside her burrow, and only then, if the coast is clear, carries her food inside. The real nature of the wasp's instinctual behavior is revealed if the food is moved a few inches away from the entrance to her burrow while she is inside. On emerging, she will repeat the whole procedure as often as the food is displaced. Intelligence conspicuously absent in the case of Sphex, must include the ability to adapt to new circumstances. How to learn there are a number of different forms of learning as applied to artificial intelligence. The simplest is learning by trial and error. For example, a simple computer program for solving mate in one chess problems might try moves at random until mate is found. The program might then store the solution with the position so that the next time the computer encountered the same position it would recall the solution. This simple memorizing of individual items and procedures, known as rote learning, is relatively easy to implement on a computer. More challenging is the problem of implementing what is called generalization. Generalization involves applying past experience to analogous new situations. For example, a program that learns the past tense of regular English verbs by rote will not be able to produce the past tense of a word such as jump unless it previously had been presented with jumped whereas a program that is able to generalize can learn the ad ed rule and so form the past tense of jump based on experience with similar verbs. The four types of artificial intelligence AI can be divided into four categories, based on the type and complexity of the tasks a system is able to perform. For example, automated spam filtering falls into the most basic class of AI, while the far-off potential for machines that can perceive people's thoughts and emotions is part of an entirely different AI subset. One. Reactive machines. A reactive machine follows the most basic of AI principles and, as its name implies, is capable of only using its intelligence to perceive and react to the world in front of it. A reactive machine cannot store a memory and, as a result, cannot rely on past experiences to inform decision making in real time. 2. Limited memory. Limited memory AI has the ability to store previous data and predictions when gathering information and weighing potential decisions essentially looking into the past for clues on what may come next. Limited memory AI is more complex and presents greater possibilities than reactive machines. 3. Theory of mind. Theory of mind is just that, theoretical. We have not yet achieved the technological and scientific capabilities necessary to reach this next level of AI. 4. Self-awareness. Once theory of mind can be established, sometime well into the future of AI, the final step will be for AI to become self-aware. This kind of AI possesses human-level consciousness and understands its own existence in the world, as well as the presence and emotional state of others. It would be able to understand what others may need based on not just what they communicate to them but how they communicate it. Artificial intelligence use cases. Applications of AI can be seen in everyday scenarios such as financial services fraud detection, retail purchase predictions, and online customer support interactions. Here are just a few examples. Fraud detection. The financial services industry uses artificial intelligence in two ways. Initial scoring of applications for credit uses AI to understand creditworthiness. More advanced AI engines are employed to monitor and detect fraudulent payment card transactions in real time. Virtual customer assistance, VCA. Call centers use VCA to predict and respond to customer inquiries outside of human interaction. Voice recognition. Coupled with simulated human dialogue, is the first point of interaction in a customer service inquiry. Higher level inquiries are redirected to a human. When a person initiates dialogue on a web page via chat, chatbot, the person is often interacting with a computer running specialized AI. 
If the chatbot can't interpret or address the question, a human intervenes to communicate directly with the person. These non-interpretive instances are fed into a machine learning computation system to improve the AI application for future interactions. Advancements in AI for applications like natural language processing, NLP, and computer vision, CV, are helping industries like financial services, healthcare, and automotive accelerate innovation, improve customer experience, and reduce costs. Gartner estimates that up to 70% of people will interact with conversational AI platforms on a daily basis by the year 2022. NLP and CV provide a valuable link between humans and robots. NLP helps computer programs understand human speech, and CV applies machine learning models to images, and is perfectly suited for everything from selfie filters to medical imaging. Okay, how to get started with AI. Communicate with customers through chatbots. Chatbots use natural language processing to understand customers and allow them to ask questions and get information. These chatbots learn over time so they can add greater value to customer interactions. Monitor your data center. IT operations teams can save huge amounts of time and energy on system monitoring by putting all web, application, database performance, user experience, and log data into one cloud-based data platform that automatically monitors thresholds and detects anomalies. Perform business analysis without an expert. Analytic tools with a visual user interface allow non-technical people to easily query a system and get an understandable answer. What are the negative aspects of artificial intelligence? While AI is certainly viewed as an important and quickly evolving asset, this emerging field comes with its share of downsides. The Pew Research Center surveyed 10,260 Americans in 2021 on their attitudes toward AI. The results found 45% of respondents are equally excited and concerned, and 37% are more concerned than excited. Additionally, more than 40% of respondents said they considered driverless cars to be bad for society. Yet the idea of using AI to identify the spread of false information on social media was more well-received, with close to 40% of those surveyed labeling it a good idea. AI is a boon for improving productivity and efficiency while at the same time reducing the potential for human error but there are disadvantages like development costs and the possibility for automated machines to replace human jobs. Okay guys, this is the end. Click like and subscribe. Goodbye.